topic today is ODM and account section, which is basically a foundation of everything that ODM is about. And the, the reason is because ODM as any migration product is relying on something called relationship table that it builds between source and target objects. And it doesn't matter if, we, if there's like on-premises to cloud or cloud to cloud, whatever we have source entity versus target entity, we always need to maintain this table that will keep this relationship. So in case objects are copied or moved between two entities, we need to know what corresponding target object should be responsible for stuff. Let's put it this way, because there are so many things to, uh, to address. So ODM being a pure cloud to cloud object is dealing with cloud tenants. So we have source and cloud tenant naturally. And usually the first thing we need to do is we need to go to account section and discover it. Let's wait until it loads. Okay, here we go. Since I'm using a Microsoft demo tenant, it is pre-populated with objects already. So I don't need to actually go and create them in order to discover them through ODM. And my project is currently already having everything is populated and discovered. But for the sake of argument, I'm, I'm going to run this process again. So what we usually do, we run discovery, perform discover all, which, which basically telling ODM, so, hey, go through the tenant wide and discover all objects and populate our table in a source. So here's the task when we can uh, observe the progress of this task itself, events, doesn't really matter. So um, there are a couple of other options how we can discover uh, accounts, for example, where there's uh, like security concerns and we as a migration admin or customer as a migration admin have a limited access to tenants objects, which accounts, then we can go and do discover from file. So you can just pre-create the CSV file, Excel CSV file, pretty simple. And you just need to populate object UPNs, user principal names, and run discover from file, which this way will basically scope our discovery to subset of object instead of going for everything. Same idea, there is um, another interesting option which says discover from security groups, which sometimes when there is a too many objects and it's too much work to maintain very big list, to discover from them. Sometimes people say, hey, I'm going to migrate only my departments like accounting, uh, maintenance, and IT. And for those entities, I have security groups. So I don't want you to discover everything. I just want those three groups to be discovered and accounts in them. So that's why we have this uh, discover from security groups. It's pretty rarely used. When we do that, we usually will will get this type of table populated. When we have account name, we will detect the type of the object of account, sorry, which is the group, or it could be contact, it could be mail enabled, not mail enabled, it could be resource, which is like a room, and other types of accounts and groups here. So naturally, the next step after doing that is we need to either migrate or match. And there lies a crucial difference between uh, two processes. Usually migration is needed when we creating objects in a target. For example, we have completely new target tenant. We have nobody's in there and we just need to migrate source accounts and create them in the target. That's what migration is for. Sometimes People already says, I don't want ODM to create objects for me. I just need to ODM to create this relationship table while I already maintain my own list of target objects. So we need to just build that table through specific action in ODM. So in order to do that, there are two ways of uh, how do we match. So this is 
that's what match is for. And as you can see, there is two options, match selected, which I can select several objects and say, hey, I want to match selected. This is what I call automatic matching. This means that ODM will read a specific attribute and then will attempt to read the same attribute or different attribute from the target object. And if they're the same, we will establish a matching relationship. That's what is automatic matching is for. As you can see, there's also clear exist matches. For example, if you incorrectly matched uh, Jane Doe to J Doe in a target, which is John Doe, then we can, uh, and you can see that in the table here, that you can see the source UPN. I will scroll, and there is a target UPN, and I see, oh, I matched it incorrectly. So you can just select a specific account that got matched incorrectly and just run the same match and, uh, and, and, and do clear it. If there is no some sort of matching criteria that's pretty common for lots of users, then you can perform match from file in which case CSV file is requested. So we need to create the CSV file manually. That CSV file is usually pretty simple. Also source UPN, target UPN, and you can go and check uh, ODM documentation with examples of how exactly it should be done. So as you can see, it's also gives some sort of examples right here. You can download example file as well. It's also possible to match using object GUID, which is object ID, but it's up to you how do you want to uh, perform this action. So doing that, when, uh, when you perform migration or matching, will create this uh, matching table. Once it's done, then basically it opens the way for the rest of the ODM functionality, like migration of mailboxes, OneDrive, because you cannot migrate mailbox before you perform either match or or migration of, of the object. It must have some sort of target type. Say, same for OneDrive, and same thing is applicable to other activities here is, for example, SharePoint or Teams, because Teams, when it has the SharePoint site linked to it, you will have a lot of files that may have custom permissions. So in order for ODM to know what target account should be responsible for accessing this type of SharePoint object, it's crucial to build accounts matching table prior to everything. And it's not unusual when we see cases and people running migration and in Teams and SharePoint, and migration task log logging and warning say, hey, I'm not able to find specific user because we see that uh, permission in a source, but we don't have this counterpart from the target tenant. So we are unable to apply appropriate permissions. While it's not affecting any content migration per se, it will affect permission and access rights. So this is basically the whole um, idea behind the accounts matching session.